Let's look at a couple of linear equations that we can solve from scratch. So the first example we have here is we need to solve 3 times the quantity 2x minus 4 plus 9 equals 15. And we're solving this equation for x, and then eventually we want to classify the type of equation as well. So as before, step one is to clear the parentheses, if there are any, by using the distributive property. So all we have to do is take this 3 and distribute it to both the terms, or all the terms that are inside the parentheses. So 3 times 2x gives us a 6x, and then 3 times negative 4 gives us a negative 12. The 9 comes along for the ride, and as does the 15. Nothing is happening with those terms. All we're doing is clearing the, the parentheses in the first step. In the second step, we have to clear the fractions if there are any. But in this equation, at this stage, there are no fractions, so we basically just skip this. The next step is to move all the terms that contain the variable. So for us, that means x to one side of the equation, and everything that does not contain the x onto the other side of the equation. So here, I just copied the equation again from there to there. And you can notice that there's only one term that has an x in it, that's the 6x. So we might as well just keep it on the left-hand side and just get rid of everything else. So move all the other non-x terms to the right. So the 15 stays on the right-hand side, but the 12 is being subtracted. The inverse operation of subtraction is addition. So when we move the 12 over to the right side, we have to add it. Similarly, the 9 is being added on the left-hand side. So when we move the 9 over to the right-hand side, we would need to subtract it. At this stage, we can move on to the next step, which is to combine like terms, because all the variables are by themselves and all the non-variable terms are by themselves. So 6x has nothing else to combine with, so that stays. And here we can do this one step at a time. So 15 plus the 12 would give us 27. And then the minus 9 comes along for the ride. Now we can simplify further or combine the like terms more, turning 27 minus 9 into 18. At this stage, we have combined all the like terms on the left-hand side. We've combined all the like terms on the right-hand side. At this stage, we should always end up with a one-step equation. So how do we solve these one-step equations? Just as before, we do the inverse operation. So the operation between 6 and x is multiplication. So when we move the 6 over to the other side, we must divide it into the 18. So 18 over 6 just gives us 3. That is our potential solution. We don't know that it's a solution or not unless we check. And we almost always almost, I'm sorry, we must always go back to the original equation. So here I copied the original equation and I replaced all the x's with 3. And there was only one x right here, so I swapped in a 3 for it. At this stage, all we have to do is just simplify. So 2 times 3 is 6. 6 minus 4 is 2. Three min I'm sorry, 3 times 2 is 6, so that goes there. 6 plus the 9 is 15, and lo and behold, we do get 15 equals 15. Because we plugged in x equals 3 into the original equation and we ended up with a true statement, we can say that x equals 3 is a solution to the equation. Additionally, because we ended with a variable equals a number, we can say that the equation is a conditional.